Hi, today I have a couple product reviews for you. I'm going to be reviewing five different products from the Swarovskoff Got To Be brand of hair care products. These hair care products are sold in drugstores, Target, and I've also seen them in Ulta. They range from about like five to eight dollars, at least they do in my area. And yeah, so I'm just gonna review them. Before I do though, I wanna tell you about my hair. This is how my hair pretty much naturally is. This is with just a little bit of mousse, like a little, little bit of mousse. And this is what it looks like. I prefer to wear my hair straight, but I've been kind of trying this out lately. So if you have hair kind of similar to mine, maybe you might share the same attitudes towards these products that I do. Okay, I'm going to review them in order of what I like the most to what I like the least. So first off, I have the Guardian Angel Heat Protect Gloss Finish Flat Iron Balm. Yeah, it's a long title. All the products kind of have those. <laughs> But they're also in cute packaging. I mean, all the bottles are kind of shaped differently and they have kind of a cute label. So this is what this one looks like. And I absolutely love this product. Love it. Like, it's rare for me to have like an extreme opinion about a product, like love or hate, but I love, love this product. Okay, so this is basically what you spray in your hair, you know, after you get out of the shower, before you start blow drying, before you start flat ironing, you spray this into your hair. And it does everything that you want a spray like that to do. It helps straighten your hair. It makes it easier for the flat iron to straighten your hair. It protects your hair against heat. You don't feel like it's getting weaker. Or you can smell it burning when you're flat ironing it or blow drying it. It leaves your hair smooth and it does not leave your hair greasy. Like you don't feel any product like left in your hair after you use it, which a lot of these type of leave-in sprays use. I am like a strong believer in the sexy straight hair a spray that you basically is like their version of this, but it's also three times more expensive and this actually works better. I'm shocked. I've been using the Sexy Straight Hair spray for a long time and I'm so pumped that I found a cheaper version, a cheaper, better version of that product. I love this. When I run out of this, I'm 100% gonna buy another one because I think it works that great. The fact that it doesn't leave any residue left in your hair uh, allows me to go longer between washings when I do my hair straight, which again, I love. <laughs> so, love this product. Okay, next up is a product that I don't necessarily love, but I like it. This is the Powderful Volumizing Styling Powder, and it looks like this. The consistency of this product is like powdered sugar, so it's very similar to like a traditional dry shampoo, like an actual powder dry shampoo that you put into your hair. So it looks like that in the top and the directions tell you there's two ways of applying it. One, you can just kind of pat it into your hand and then you rub your hands together until you can't see the product anymore but you can still feel it on your fingers and you just kind of press it into your hair like this. That's if you want just like a little bit of volume, maybe like daily, every day, whatever. The other way that you can do it is you can lift your hair up in sections and actually pat the product into it just like you would a traditional powder dry shampoo and then you can kind of just like rub your hands in it. Just think of the way you would like, you rub your scalp when you're shampooing your hair and bam, you get so much volume when you do that. It's crazy. I tend to do that because I don't use this every single day. I usually use it um, when my hair, when I flat ironed my hair and it's like on day two or day three and it's just like getting a little bit limp or if like I'm going out at night and I want it just to be a little more like blah, blah, boom. And like, it just, it, it works really, really well. And it lasts for a really long time because even if you notice like a couple hours throughout the day here and there that your volume is kind of gone, you can just press your hands into your hair and you can get that volume back. But the bad side of that is that the product stays in your hair all day. So you, if you just like absentmindedly put your hair, your hand in your hair, you'll feel that product on your hand. And if you are around people who touch your hair ever, which I don't know, some people just like to touch people's hair they might feel that residue in your hair as well. So that's something to be aware of when using this product. If that's not a worry for you, then I think it's a great product. Don't worry about it. I like it. Okay. So I really like those two products. The next three products I don't really like and I wouldn't purchase or really recommend. Um, okay, so this one is the Rockin' It Forever Style Stay Encore Fresh Dry Shampoo. This is a spray dry shampoo. It's got it's got like the spray top, you know, you spray it on. And it's kind of in between, it's kind of in the middle of the spectrum for a dry spray shampoo. Some of these dry spray shampoos, you spray them on and they're just flat out wet. 
on your hair. It's not a dry product. It doesn't do any like oil absorption at all. It's just supposed to like clean your hair, I guess, and like make it smell better, which I hate. I, I, those are like a waste of time to me. And then on the other side are like really, really dry shampoo sprays, which dry, or sorry, which spray like a dry product directly onto your scalp. And I like those better. So this is kind of in between because when you spray it on, when I first sprayed it like onto my hand, it was really wet, but now it's really dry. So it's kind of like a wet to dry finish or something. I don't know. But um, either way, it, it kind of doesn't really work that well. It's kind of like an in-between product. If you feel like a lot of like dry shampoo sprays are like too dry for you, maybe you would like this one. But for me, it doesn't really get the job done. And I don't really like the smell of it. It's kind of like a medicinal version of like a sugar, brown sugar lemon kind of a scent. I just don't like it. Like once I've been wearing it all day, it's just like, eh, it's too strong for me. I don't really, I don't like it. And the product doesn't work that well either. So, <coughs> sorry, sometimes it makes me cough when I spray this one for some reason too. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so, meh, I pass on this. I think there are better dry shampoos for this price point and for lower. So I say skip on the got to be dry shampoo. Okay, next up I have the Smooth Operator with Cashmere Smoothing Hairspray. And I think this is the cutest product. I love this like label. I think it's really, really cute, but I don't like the actual product itself. So that kind of sucks. It says right on the bottle right here, defrizz, which is why I purchased this and it doesn't do it at all. Ugh. Not at all. But the thing that I really don't like about this product is that it's super wet. It's like one of the wettest hairsprays. So spraying this on top of hair that I just flat ironed, no good. Spraying this on top of hair that like this isn't good either because it leaves it really, really sticky. And it doesn't get rid of the frizz. It holds, eh, kind of whatever. Yeah, it's just, again, better hairsprays for this price point and lower out there and it's yeah pass on it okay the last product is the kinkier double curling power gloss and define curling spray gel and it looks like this i hate this product <laughs> like i said earlier it's weird for me to have like an extreme opinion about stuff i love the first one i hate this product i really really hate this I'm not a big fan of a curling spray gel in general anyways. Like a lot of brands carry them, like Garnier Fertis has one. And my sister uses that, she likes it, but I don't really like them in general. But this is like the worst of the worst to me. It leaves your hair super sticky, Ugh. like really, really sticky. It makes your hair look greasy and dirty and like unwashed. It doesn't get rid of any frizz. It doesn't really help with the curling process. It doesn't last either. It's just ugh, everything about this bleh, to me. I really, really, really don't like this. I absolutely do not recommend this product. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm mad that I have this. <laughs> like if this had been the first product I tried from got to be, I wouldn't have tried anything else at all. But I, I don't know. I just feel like this is a, such a waste of money. I hate this. But yeah, okay. So, um, those are my reviews of a couple of the got to be products if you have any products from got to be that you really really like or you really really hate i would love if you leave like a comment below just so i can see because i kind of want to because i love love this one so much i do want to try more of their products so let me know if you have any opinions on any of them and i hope this review was helpful for anybody who's interested in purchasing got to be products and thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye